Yo, so check it. I was uh online, like I've all, I always be online, right? <laughs> Trying to search for just willy nilly information. But, um, I do it because we do a podcast, and I be like trying to like archive topics we can talk about and I came across this one saying maybe a couple months ago um and I've seen a lot of people like parrot it or mimic it since then but the the, the topic or the phrase was people um how did it go people are unappreciative of how of how much of a blessing it is to leave your home and return safely. Have y'all seen that? I haven't seen it, but I believe that. I think I have seen it. And it's underrated. It's un- Yeah, that's what I mean. That's <laughs> what he said. It's an underrated blessing to leave your home and return safely. Just think about that. It's underrated because... Come on don't we'll nobody, don't nobody walk out the house and don't think they're gonna make it back. Exactly. They don't. They think it's a given. Yeah. You go out to the, just think you can go out to the gas station, grocery store, corner store, wherever you going. That could be your last. It could be your last trip, trip for whatever reason. Now I bring that up because right now in the city of Greensboro, it's Jiho. And for y'all that don't know what Jiho is, the greatest homecoming on earth from my alma mater. Well, can I call it my alma mater if I didn't graduate? I'm going to still call it you my can. alma mater. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it too. I ain't graduating either, but I went. Yeah, so it's the, it's the greatest homecoming on earth, North Carolina A&T State University. Um, it's homecoming, and we haven't had a homecoming in a couple years. Not a, like a – they've Non-COVID. had homecoming. Yeah, non-COVID yeah. homecoming. So this would be like the first non-COVID homecoming. And y'all probably seen it too. A couple of days ago, we was trending on, on Twitter. Like Greensboro's Twitter and um, I think NCNT was, was trending on Twitter. And when I went to look, it was because two, two young people got killed at a party, homecoming party. And see, I don't know if you know. That was on Tuesday. Yeah. They started wilding on Monday. Yeah, I seen that too. It was a party at some apartment complex. And when the numbers came back, they said it was at least a thousand people out there. So when the cops pulled up, they started throwing bottles and bricks at the cop car. I seen that also. So it's been some type of incident every day this week. A thousand people at apartment complex? Yeah. So you just, just imagine. That is crazy for Greensboro. So all that pent up energy, people was like they haven't had this in a while, and they ready to let it loose, right? And I, you know, I get it to a certain degree, but you got to be safe out here. And I brought that up because, like, just think the people it was a young one of the young people. I don't know who the other one was, but in the article they said it, it was a young lady who was a freshman at A and T. It's her first year, her first experience of homecoming. Mm-hmm. So you know, she left her domicile and went to this party and probably would have never thought nothing like that it would happen. So I'll uh, rest in peace to her. And she was not the intended target. From no, what she I had nothing. To innocent bystander. She was, yeah, she was an innocent bystander. So just think about that, man. And just think about how many times you leave your home and you go out and we might go, like we about to go out in a couple of weeks for, you know, celebrate my birthday, whatever. I always think about that. I always have my head on the swivel every time. I don't even like going out. But if I do, I have my head on the swivel all the time because you never know. But that's just sad that you have to do that when you're just going out to let was, loose and enjoy yourself. And what's crazy, though, sometimes you can I mean, you can still have your head on the swivel. And still not see and it coming. Yeah, and still not see it coming because, like, with that situation right there, she didn't see that coming. I mean, you just out having a good time with your friends thinking it's the best thing ever. When you left your house, you was getting dressed. And, I mean, you having your, you having your time. And for but, you to say that, um, it was her first experience. I was talking to Randy last night, and I was like, you know, some of them ain't had homecoming. Some of the ones that's been there, not 
including the ones that's there, but some of them don't know what this is. Yeah, if you was <clears throat> fresh, you've been in the last two years. 2020, you probably didn't get the real experience till now. Yeah, so they don't mm -hmm. know what's going on. Yeah. Unless you grew up in the area, you might have known of it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, I just said, yeah, it is. I do think it's an underrated blessing to, like. It is. To leave your home. Because leaving your home, any, you think of the number of things that could happen on a day-to-day -day basis. You see it every day. Mm-hmm. Like, the traffic accidents that happen on that one stretch of the highway. Oh, yeah. Like, I know it was a couple of weeks ago. It was three days in a row. I could not get through there. I just had to get off the highway. Same little area. Because of an accident. Because of an accident. And I want to say it was a couple of deaths out of them three days. I know it definitely was one. Yeah, I know. But I think it was another one, too. You talking about, like, Death Valley? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's always some, some, some BS over there. But I didn't want to start it off, like, on a sad note. I'm just saying, like, rest in peace to the young lady. I, want, um, I wish I had her name, but I'll... This yeah. is dedicated to her. Condolences to her and, family. And the other, yeah, condolences. And the other um, young person that, that passed away. Because it was two people. Mm -hmm. They just made reference to one in the article that I read. And then it was like four other people injured. Be safe out there, man. By the time y'all see this, G-Ho will be over with. Hopefully, the majority of it is fun. Because if not, they're going to try to shut us down. <laughs> because it's us. <laughs> so, if you going out, I don't man, know what you're saying. They was already saying, at this point in time, they are not. Thinking they're not, they don't want to go to implementing a curfew. Okay. That already, that's already came up. Uh, yeah, they had a <clears throat> for the uh, weekend. Yeah, they had a uh, press conference. I know. So, yeah, just be safe anytime you go out. Um, and one of them on kids, slew. one of the kids that got injured. I'm, I seen it today. Ain't had a minister in the first place. It was somebody still in high school. But you know how that go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know yeah. Especially like you from the area. They were. You know what I mean? That's that's the thing. Like you from the area. Like a lot of these kids, they from the area, so they didn't hear G Ho. Yeah. They've been a part of all they like. You know, their parents done done it. So they it's just bro. a part of their life. Like, I can't wait. I'm going there now. So Nah, bro, you're not getting out of my house in high school on a Tuesday night to go to a party. Well, if you don't know, that's where they go. That's what, yeah, exactly. No, at a certain point in time, yeah, well, you, you know, yeah, 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 you know like what I'm saying. I understand that for sure, but initially, I was in places that yeah, you might I pull up. Supposed to be <laughs> you might pull up at when it start, but you ain't gonna be there when the action go down. Cause you better be in the house. You better stay there. Cause I just thought that was sad. Nah, it was. It was and that 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 area too, like that area's been like infamous been for a long time. When we was in college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's crazy. Been part of it area. It's so close to campus. It's right there. Yeah. I mean it might as well be campus. I think we all probably been part of there. Yeah. Well sure. I know I have. Other universities, I think it would probably be a part of the campus. Mm -hmm. It's that close. So I mean, I don't it's dangerous out there. But anyway, be safe out there, man. Um, if you're new here, I go by the name of Artwork. This is the Legend Has It Podcast. I'm LV Bowden. You already know Bow in the building? Yes, sir, man. How y'all feeling tonight? Chilling, man. Chilling. Glad to be here. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. So, look, in other news. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, check it. On another note, uh, I was strolling and I seen a headline that said that black sperm donors are are at a shortage. I see a shortage this. of black sperm donors. Oh, I know where you're going with this, too. right? <laughs> so yeah. check it. I, my inquiring mind, had questions. First, my first question was like, why is it black sperm donors? Why is it a shortage of black sperm donors? And I thought about it from a personal level. I've never thought, hmm, 
let me go donate some sperm. And I right. think my peers have never really thought about that. And so it didn't seem odd after that. It's like, okay, well, black men probably ain't thinking about this. You probably didn't know about this um, to that extent. So I started diving deeper into it. Let me ask you something before you tell us. I want to know if you did what I think you're getting ready to say. Because I've been of the same mind frame with you. I ain't never thought about it. Don't know nobody that thought about it. Probably don't know nobody that ever did it. What they paying? Okay, see, I was about to get into that. <laughs> so check it. I didn't even know you. They paid. So check it. I looked. I did the research. I said, hey. Because it said sperm donor, donation. Right. So I'm thinking it's like you doing it out of the kindness of your heart. Mm-hmm. No. They are paying... 50 to a hundred dollars per load. Now I'm looking at this online. I'm searching, la, 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 reading the shit. I'm thinking it made me think about all the times I've jacked off <laughs> for free. <laughs> I could have been getting paid. 50 to a hundred. Yeah. It could have supplemented the income. Yes. So it don't, hustle. it don't even matter the quality of the, no, you got to go through some prerequisites. Oh. But if you are healthy, no no STDs, you pretty much in there like swimwear. Of course, people have preferences. They like tall, you know, tall men. They want like genetically. Oh, okay. But. So you just can't walk in there and be like. Nah, you got to go through <clears throat> the preliminaries. But if you fit like healthy male, you can go in there and you can like, like you said, have. Do y'all think people do this like a job? Uh, yeah, that's why I said black sperm donors. Black people don't even, I don't think they even know about this shit. Like, so if you out there and you a young, fit male, and you jacking off in a sock anyway, man. Man, go get you a couple of dollars. Go get you a couple of dollars. <laughs> yeah, go on down to your local sperm donor. <laughs> fill out the paperwork, fill you out an application, and go on jack off in a cuff instead of a sock, man, get paid. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work for y'all. Those of y'all that's on semen retention, but <laughs> you want some extra income, man. Go on. Look now. The flip side of that, I don't, I don't, I don't think black people are too keen on having. Well, <laughs> I don't know. If we too keen about having like people out like you because you have you got you gonna have kids out there that mm-hmm. have your DNA, right? But you have nothing to do with. Now, I know that's a stereotype in our community, but I don't. We ain't really that keen on doing no shit like that, really. Contrary to popular belief, like just willy nilly. So I think that is a hang up for a lot of us too, if you do know about it. So you think the, you think the like the mentality part of it like gonna mess with you to do that? I think so. I think it would me. I watched, I don't know if y'all watched. There was this documentary on Netflix about this guy. He worked. He he was a doctor. Mm-hmm. And women. It was in a small town. I can't remember the name of it, but it was in a small town. Where the women from the town were coming to him, and instead of him giving them sperm from other like don- donors, he was donating. He was injecting them with his sperm. So we had a bunch of illegitimate kids out here and then they all got grown and wanted to find their father. And it came back to him. And it came back to him. It was some weird ass shit. This documentary was weird. I don't even think nothing even happened to this dude. Like he's still out here free. Wow. Have you seen, it's a movie, um, I, think, I think the name of it is Delivery Man with Vince Vaughn. I heard of it. I don't he know. was, can't he was basically doing that. Might but be based off this guy. It was, but that's kind of a comedy. comedy it's kind okay. of funny. And it got to the point where I can't remember how he found out. I don't know if somebody came to him about one kid, but then he found out about all the kids. I, I seen the movie a long time ago, and I know I'm messing up the storyline, but it's it's based off the same thing. So it was something he was doing, mm-hmm. and it came back to him where like he got kids all over the place. I have to see because Cause they, but they don't do nothing to. Them. They took them to court. Tried to, from what I remember, because I was half watching and half doing some other yeah. shit. 
But yeah, from what I remember, they took him to court. But at the end, nothing came of it. He's still a free man. Like, I don't know mm-hmm. if he's still practicing, but he's a free man. Like he ain't. Uh, what kind of charges could you bring up? What you mean? Like, what you think what is getting... he? What is he? I mean, I mean, I don't. I'm. I'm asking. I don't know I what's. Don't know. I don't really know. I what's... think that's fraud. There's like, <laughs> gotta be something. Yeah, you. you... Cause they thinking they getting, cause you know you ask for like. So they done went and said, "I want such, such, such." Yeah. yeah. And you get in this fat ball. <laughs> right. There's got to be something. Who would possess somebody to do that? Like, you a different type of freaky. Uh, yeah. Cause it ain't like you you doing having, anything having in the course with right. them. You yes. just you. You some trying to create of, your own race of people. That's some type of mental illness. Yeah. That could be what it is. I want to create but a he bunch of me's. But he don't know them for nothing. He has nothing to do with them after he inseminates these women. He has nothing to do with it. He wouldn't even. He, I know he don't know nothing about it, but like he could, he wouldn't know them if they walked right yeah, up to exactly. him. exactly. He wouldn't have thought. He never thought twice about it if they didn't bring it to his attention. Like, see what I'm saying? Like he, and It wasn't like he was going to interact with these and raise them. It was like, well, it's just a bunch of me's out here. Like, what? It's just a sick person. That's crazy to me, man. Like, um. And then back to what you were saying about black people not really wanting to do stuff like that because they don't, wouldn't know. But how do you know that this specific specimen that you delivered on that day actually worked? Because sometimes it don't work. So that could take your feelings out of you. Just like I tried. Yeah, and hopefully I mean, it, it worked for whoever, but maybe it don't work. You just went and got your fifty dollars, and instead of putting it in a sock, you put it in the cup for the people. Yeah, because you are, in reality, you are helping somebody. You are. There's certain people who can't like conceive in a natural biological right, way, right. so you are in turn helping somebody, and you're getting paid to like do some shit that you was just. <laughs> gonna do anyway yeah so because i'm pretty sure you the only reason you would find out is because once they became an adult they started looking for you exactly and i think that's the hang up too so you know yeah. you know what i'm saying like you that's that make it even worse that's a, yeah that's the hang up i can't i got this kind of what i was man. saying coming up to me yeah all these I'm years dead. later this is getting ready to be odd but you, I mean, you gotta it's still your kid. Yeah, I mean, in a sense, it is. It's your DNA. Yeah, it's man. your kid. And you done birthed the president of the world, and you hmm. all you got was a hundred dollars for your <laughs> your time. Yeah, he coming to you. I'm, I've been looking for you. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that shit get deep though. They really do. So I was, yeah, I was thinking about that. I just thought it was weird how that was worded. Black sperm donor. It's the shortest of black. I never really thought about it. Yeah, like why black people? And I'm still no, I mean, I never really thought about donating sperm. Nah, I mean, I wouldn't. Like, I would think you was weird if you just said, "Yo, about to go." What you doing today, Bo? <laughs> about to go drop this load off. <laughs> go over here, drop this load off, man. Then after that, so you yeah, after that, this I'm gonna get this bottle. What's up? <laughs> and you can do that shit up to three times a week. Yeah, they let you. I think it's a limit. It's a cap. So yeah, three a, times a week, you can go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We probably should already know. About that's a part time job. Yeah, <laughs> for some people, yeah, it definitely is. I said you, you could definitely supplement your income because you could pay for something if you got the time and energy to go do that three times a week. Bro, that's about twelve to fifteen. Some I think on the site I was looking at, they broke it down about twelve hundred to fifteen hundred a month. And then one of them went went crazy with it. He said if you do it for like twenty years, it's like over three hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, yo, who, what <laughs> fucking psychopath? Twenty years <laughs> is out here, yo. But yeah, man, you never know. Somebody, I, 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 I guarantee you, you they, somebody they, out there, they somebody's that, out there. Like they I didn't got just come up work. with that. They know that for a fact. Somebody, somebody out there, they out there, prominent joint right now. For yeah, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got that clock said, oh, today Wednesday? Mm-hmm. I, I got to go drop this yeah, off by go noon. Yeah. Got me an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> got a little routine and everything. It don't even bother them no more. That's crazy. You looking for the good porn <laughs> on their phone. Let me save it. Let me dock this right now, archive this. I'm going to go up in here. <laughs> Being here about five minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just keep the engine running on the Uber. Wow. But I did see it, and I thought it was weird. Yeah, but it might it might not be weird to a lot of people. I mean, yeah. I wonder do they feel the same? You know how you feel like? No, they see money. You feel weird after you. <laughs> <laughs> see, just after seen, you let loose. They see money. After a while, they brought they got to. You did it for twenty years exactly. Nah, I don't but know. twenty years is crazy. Yeah, you got a problem. You got. Yo, you got a whole plethora of like seeds out here in the world. Yeah, twenty years is a little is possibly. Possibly, yeah. You got a whole army of And then if they don't that's another I got I st- I have more questions because all right, say you decide to do this and you go drop your load off or whatever. Do they store it? And somebody comes and they like, I'm looking for that type of such such. What if they don't ever pick yeah, what now. the characteristics that you got? And it's just somewhere. Now you they, ain't gonna know that though. I mean, but how? I mean, what are they? How long can they keep it? I mean, it's just that's a good question. It's some more now, stuff. Are you talking about the, the expiry date? Yeah. Well, now they can clone your ass. They got your DNA. Mm. So now you, ten years later, you, somebody look just like you. You see how these? You see people that look just Bruh. like other people, and you be like. They ain't related. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That ain't even. Nah, you said. You yeah, just said something. They might be cloning motherfuckers. You just off said that. something that made me think that, nah, that ain't even cool. Man, damn, that $50. They, they can make you. But somebody, they, they might depend on that you, $50. Nah, bro, they gonna make you and get rid of you. Gets deep. It does. I ain't even think about it like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Eventually, yeah, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> but yeah, you got to, um, from the ones I've seen, you got, they got a certain age bracket that they look for. Then, like I said, a lot of people prefer a certain height. And then you got to be healthy or whatever. Yeah, you could just be no stocking this. You could just be stocking the shelf. You ain't even getting selected. But you wouldn't know. I know. Yeah, you wouldn't know. But know. I'm saying. So I don't think you should have any remorse if 30, 30 year old junior walk up on you like, I've been looking for you all my life oh yeah what's your name boy Yo, what if somebody I mean, we're gonna get off this after this <laughs> but what if somebody who works in the facility goes into the laboratory takes your seed impregnates themselves then comes after you for child support. <laughs> nah, you can. I think you'll be all right. I'm taking them to court. They gonna take you to court first. Yeah, but we gonna. The truth gonna come out. We gonna get down to the bottom of this. But the kid gonna have your. It is. But they gonna have, when they. I'm gonna be like, you know where she worked. My name got to be on the book somewhere for me coming to make this deposit. I ain't never, other than that, I ain't seen this woman a day in my life. Mm-hmm. Nah, not when that DNA test come back. That's going to be just like them damn people that sign them birth certificates and end up paying child support for somebody else's baby. Same thing. You out there, man, and you just jacking off for free. Man, hit your hit your um yeah your local uh sperm donor. Get paid, but be weary. Yeah, think think <laughs> think about it. Don't just go for the money. Make sure you can handle the potential things that might be behind it. You think old men do it? Nah, you gotta be a certain age. Certain they age they want you in your you know. No later than your forties. So that's why I say if you're young, man, you can get they old man have babies. Yeah, they do, but I'm just saying as far as the 
the uh, prerequisite. You don't want to make no old baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as far as like the prerequisite, the sturdiness yeah. of the fluids. His baby come out looking like a senior citizen. Yeah, and you come out looking man, like Samuel. On, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> come on, man. You seen old yeah, babies? Yeah, I just seen some old babies. <laughs> <laughs> old face baby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to ask y'all, man, have y'all ever, ever, do y'all ever do anything outside of your normal routine? Do you, do you ever step outside of your comfort zone? For instance, do you ever go to like a bar and sit by yourself and just sit at the bar, new bar that you ain't never been to, order a drink, just sit, chat it up with like random strangers or go to like a movie by yourself, go to anywhere by yourself and just do shit by yourself or, All right. or just outside your comfort zone? I can speak on this, cause my little sister tells me. For the, the one thing she tells me, I'm weird, cause I'm willing to go to the movies by myself. I do that all the time. That's well, not, not all weird. the time. Yeah, this I'm I'm not finished. That's one thing she tells me I'm weird for. She also says I'm weird, cause I'm willing to go out to eat by myself. I do that also. <clears throat> and. I don't understand how I'm weird based off of what she's saying, but I love me. <laughs> I like, I would spend time with me before I spend time with anybody else. As you should. But my thing with the movie situation is if I go to the movies and it's a movie I really want to see, I ain't got to worry about you saying, well, what is that? Or what are they talking about? Or if you don't know, like, it, it depends on what the movie is. Right. But if you ain't got nothing to do with what, if you're not really concerned or in. You have no interest into, in that yeah. movie. Yeah. So you're going to talk to me the whole time. You really going to mess my experience up. I can, if I can go by myself, I can sit there and I can concentrate on what's going on. I can catch up on things that might be something that later on they'll come out that you weren't even supposed to know this or. Did you catch this? And I was like, oh, yeah, I caught that while I was there. You, you know, that type talk. of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm if I'm hungry and I want some good food, why I got to have somebody to go with me? I agree with you. You I, don't? They got spots for me right there. And I ain't got to. I can go sit there and it's just me. A lot of people think it's weird, though. A lot yeah, of people yeah, do think it's yeah. weird. That, that, because, and I think those are people who just... They've been around a lot of people all yeah, their life. Yeah, they just ain't used to being alone. Alone, yeah. And I'm, I prefer to be alone mm -hmm. as opposed to being with anybody else. So it's that ain't weird to me. Like I'll go to, like you said, I I'm gearing up to go to the movies within the next few days on to a matinee. Yeah, I, you, I am too. Going to see as soon as I get a chance. Yeah, I'm gonna probably go <laughs> see, see the matinees. Black or, Adam in yeah. a minute. Soon, you know soon as I get, as soon as I get that opportunity, that I will be there. Sit right in there, lift it <laughs> in my zone, watching the movie by myself. Not bothered by Not anything. Bothered. Yeah. So I've been to several movies by myself. Um, and I have no issue with that. I go sometimes I go eat. Like he said, I go let me go I'll sit right in here, eat. I have my um I might have a I might take a book or I always have my ear pods, mm -hmm. put them mugs in, and now I'm you know, on my phone and I'm eating like I'm to myself. Like, what's I don't see nothing wrong with that, man. I don't either. Like, if I'm feeling good, I, I go to the bar and drink by myself. Yeah, you know that. what I'm saying? I go have some drinks at the bar by myself because I'm, you know, you paying for you. You having you having your time doing what you want to do. You know, especially if it's a game on or something. Would y'all travel outside of? Outside of what I haven't done uh, extensive travel. Yeah, like somewhere like I've been to. So I've been like, I guess we could say maybe ninety minutes away from home, and I went to a concert. And just so happened when I bought the concert tickets, I had booked the room. Because, you know, yeah, you might want to drive back. Yeah, yeah. So, and some thing, it was some things that came up, and 
some people, the person that was supposed to go with me couldn't go. And it was last minute. And I'm not getting ready to miss the concert because I'm perfectly fine. And I'm definitely not getting ready to waste this money on this room. So I went. And I had a damn good time. But like you saying, you like, I've done that to where knowing that I'm going by myself. Like you, you had a person that kind of backed out, right? Yeah. So I've, I've booked a, a little trip. It was just a one night. But I've done that to where I've done it by myself. Booked the room, knowing what I was going on. You know, I booked the room. That's what I know it was going to happen. So I ain't got to drive back. And I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? Went to the room, dress, went out, got me some food. Yeah, I had some damn good food. I, I did. I had, I had some, some good I had food. Some great food before I stepped up in the spot. I was, I was ha- I was proud of the food. I was like, wow, I done got some takeout over there. Yeah, this is, <laughs> the food is good. Now, I went to the spot, mm-hmm. going to the spot, and it would. It, I might have enjoyed it even more because I'm. I ain't a giant. I'm six foot and some change. I ain't even gonna put the change on it. I'm like six two and a half, maybe just, six three. Put the change on. it. I always, <laughs> if I go somewhere, I try to get the end seat. So I got the two end seats. But it's me by myself, so I got the end seat and I got this seat. So I ain't got to worry about somebody for two seats. Right, right, right. So this makes it even better for me. I enjoyed the hell out of that show. I'm in there like this the whole time. <laughs> I can go crazy. I ain't got to worry about nobody over here. And they can have their fun mm-hmm. way over there. And, yeah, so, I mean, I would definitely do that again. Just so, it just had to present itself to me for me to do it. I never went on a long trip. Yeah, I'm so. Would you? Would you, would you go outside of the state or even international travel by yourself? Would you do that? Would you don't think you would do that? That's something I'm interested in, but I think I. It would make me nervous. I'm gonna have to move different if I do that. I think I would do a. I think I'd do a cruise by myself. I think that would be dope. That might be true. I think I'd do a cruise. I've never done that, but I think I'd do a cruise by myself. That might be dope. To tell you the truth. If you know what goes <laughs> anyway, and I've never been on the cruise. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I've I never that. been I ain't on the never cruise. Never been on one either. But if you pick the right one, that sounds like that yeah, might be. I, a good I time. would go on a, a cruise time. by myself. I think that would be dope. For sure, for sure. Um, that's what I would like to do. I wouldn't mind like traveling by myself. I read um, uh, Phil Knight's autobiography or whatever, or biography, whatever it is. Oh, is it shoe dog, John? The shoot, yeah, shoe dog. And he was talking about when he was getting this, when he was getting Nike started, before he even got Nike started, before he even, he knew he wanted to do something different. He didn't want to have a job, but he took a journey just to find himself before all of that. Right out of high school, he traversed the fucking world and just the experiences that he had, like, reverberated through everything that Nike became. Like all of that, him visiting like the the uh, the ruins, the the Roman with the Greek ruins, or whatever. Yeah, and that's how he came up with the name Athena, or whatever and Nike. That's how he came up with the name later on. It didn't it didn't cross his mind at first, but later on, when he had to change the name, he remembered his visit. You know, also all of that shaped him. He traveled to uh, China, Japan. He traveled to Japan. He made. Con- in Japan, he remembered that the factories so were cheaper to manufacture. He got connects. So he got, yeah, he got connects. So all of that kind of it shaped his life, and I just thought that was dope. And not even saying just to do it on that type of level. I'm just saying that yo, you can step outside of what you know and your comfort zone, and you can go somewhere else and just see how they how they live and how they do things, and come back with a whole different perspective on life itself. And being by yourself, it's just your experience. It's your experience, yours only. And you can take a lot from that. So I th- always thought that was dope. And I'm not opposed. Like oh, like I said, I, I prefer to be by myself because 
When you by yourself, it's just you. It's your energy. It's you and God, really. It's like I you. like I like me, bro. Yeah, so I'm, you, you like yourself, huh? I love myself, yeah, like you I, said. Yeah, I like, like me. I love like I. It's just you, and then you can hear. If you sitting quiet, you can hear what God is saying to you. You get you get intuition. You get not you know what I'm saying. You get knowledge from that. So the only negative thing that about me exploring and experimenting on my own is sometimes <laughs> which is not all the time sometimes i do like to go some places where i am i probably shouldn't even be so i probably would feel comfortable if i had uh you or you there with me and saying you see this? <laughs> Cause if I see it, yeah, I might see it myself, but damn, man, I see it, but it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's the only thing. And, and it might I have to approach it different. But if I'm not by myself, I can fully enjoy myself because I know he got my back. Yeah, I got his. Just back. just the feeling to yeah. have somebody got yeah. your back yeah. right yeah. there. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. But other than that. I I ain't got no problem with doing nothing by myself. I I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, cause you ain't gotta impress nobody. You ain't got to nothing. You just making no noise. Yeah, you just do your in. thing. If you see me, you see me. I done been to sporting events, concerts. I haven't taken it. I ain't been out the states yet, and I'm no. I hope I might. That might come eventually. But I've done a lot of stuff. And it's just been me. And I, I, I ain't. I can't say it's nothing that I done that I didn't have a good time. I've never even been on a like a couple night trip. Like when you just go somewhere on a couple. Like when I say that, I'm saying like you book a place for two to three nights by mm -hmm. yourself outside of what you got going on. I've never done that. I did a one night. I've never did a couple nights. Yeah, I ain't did. No, I ain't did more than one night either. But. <laughs> Like in that one night, I had so much planned. So like I, it was I. I'm pull up today. Pulled up in time. Whatever time checking checking time is. You got like three four hours for time for whatever I got to do or I bought tickets to or whatever. So pull up, get dressed, get some food, give me some drinks, go to the thing. Lead the thing, go back, chill, go to sleep. Next day, I'm gonna hit the the local mall outlet. Yeah, whatever yeah. Was, whatever on the way out. Available. Yeah, I'm I'm going somewhere in the area and experiment some more before mm. I come back to the crib. So I ain't gonna say it's just you know what I'm saying. It it might be one day, but I'm I'm fully immersed in the experience. Word word. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. I was trying not to. I was trying to avoid this topic, but mm -hmm. you brought it up, Bodie. <laughs> it's <laughs> all my fault. <laughs> Yo, so you show, so off camera, um, Bodie showed us something on his phone, some degenerate shit. Um, <laughs> and take it with a grain of salt, man. We just having fun. Um, so, in this post that you showed us from Twitter, right? Yeah. This wax, this lady, she's a wax. Mm -hmm. What do they call them? Wax ticians? Or I don't know. Yeah, what I don't they know what they call. They do wax. On they do like, waxes. Um, and, and, and they should them, them spots should be popping up all over your city because I see them all the time. I don't know if she worked for that particular spot. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's different. Oh, you talking about the yeah, different wax yeah, centers? Different oh, it's type a thing of wax. Now, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a different and thing. Talk about that. They too. everywhere. We can talk about that too. Um. So it ain't gotta be that one particular one. They it, they might just be your what you what you should call it a wax technician. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know the word for it. a wax, wax technician. Wax lady. But yeah, she she was she, she went on her social medias and she posted a picture of her pulling like wax hair out. And the wax hair had a roach in it. Mm. So check it. She said mm. her first wax job the other day, right? No, her, I think it was her first wax job ever as a wax. That's what I read. I it could be the other day, maybe. I think it was the other day. Oh, I don't okay, think okay. it was ever. I don't, I'm, I'm, I could be wrong. But so I don't she, think it was wait, ever. Wait a minute, hold on. Her first wax job, she said, 
of the day, I guess it was the day, she said that she was going to wax this lady. And, like, right before she started to plot, you know, start doing her thing, a roach popped out of her for JJ. Like, popped out and ran out? Yeah, I, she... Like, ran across her legs? Like, I don't know, man. She was pulling the wax off. She showed the picture. In the in the, See, the, roach the, in the, the roach was in the wax in the hair paper in all the, in the all hair the, yeah. in all in that and that is that's ugh, is what it is. <laughs> I don't know if I, I mean I I don't yo, know if I believe that. I don't know. <laughs> Come if, on, man. You know, I don't know if it happened. Yeah, that, that roach had to be packed in. The, so y'all saying like it was in the in the zoop, that in that paper, right? It can't. She said she seen it come out the the, the cooch. It was a cooch critter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said, but I don't believe that shit, man. There ain't no way the roach come out the damn. Nah, man. I ain't gonna say I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I don't believe it came out of it. I ain't gonna say I don't believe it. I don't, I'm not. I ain't. You gonna, gonna come on, fam. I'm not above believing it. Come on, fam. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah, you right. Come on, fam, but I'm not above believing it. It's possible. Cooch critters. Did you see all the hair in the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a lot of hair. I, I saw the picture. Why you got all that? So, hair? Okay, if if you walking mm. around with the jungle, you don't know what's. Hey, come you, on, man! This, like, what's wax, going on in the jungle? Check it out. Waxing is don't act like waxing is has been a thing forever. Waxing is just a new phenomenon. Which True. The last, but that's, decade. Or that two. was the jungle, dog. Nah, that was a lot of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was man, a baby. No women don't be doing all that. That was a baby fro. That doing... it was the jungle there in that picture. You ever seen? Y'all seen Snowfall? Y'all ever seen? What's my man name? Teach him, teach him, teach your boy how to squabble. What's his name? Jerome. Yeah. That that's what that wax paper looked like. When she pulled it off like his <laughs> his Jerry girl. Yeah, shit <laughs> looked wild. Yo, that's crazy. So yeah, but it... I ow oh, yeah man, come on man. You got critters in your cooch. I'm not putting it past nobody. No like, way. And I and ain't no way. Here's no, why I, I'm not putting it past nobody. Cause I'm assuming, and I could be wrong. Just cause the pictures look the way it looked, it was a lot of hair. <laughs> a lot of hair. So I want to say this is an older woman. Is walking around with that jungle. And I think she said that in the caption it was an older woman. Yeah, so that I was mean, an older woman. That was she. I think that's what the caption said. So I mean, or the is that a caption or the un, whatever? Yeah, that's it, what it said. Yeah, I mean, so I still don't believe that. You like just get you have one. You got to sleep naked. No coverage, probably. No, you don't have to. Spread eagle. You, you don't have to. No, that. Ain't or when you go to the bathroom, you know how you have your, like your. <laughs> What if what you, what you got you, your, your drawers no, you on the floor? No, no, all that ain't even necessary. Some crawling your drawers, you don't know it. But to stay there, then it crawls up and get it get it's warm, it's moist, it's moist. Yeah, that, it's a nice, it's a nice habitat. <laughs> I mean, shit. Ah, uh, but yo, this shit is crazy. Like for you to say you don't believe it, I don't believe that. Man. I don't believe it. I'm not gonna say I don't. But it's possible. That's that's where I'm at with it. I ain't gonna say I don't believe it. I think it's possible. Yeah, you okay? I I do think it's possible because check it. This is why I say that. Have y'all ever seen those shows? Or nah, there's one particular show. I think it comes on A and E where the people be going to the doctor with these with stuff just random random shit that's inside of them. Like, cause it's, here's the thing. I and this thing got nothing to do with the vagina, but I just seen something. In the last week or two, somebody was at the eye doctor and they had 23 contacts that was stuck up here. I seen that. I don't have contacts. Is that possible? Hmm? 23 contacts stuck in your eye? I can show you a video. When yeah, we I seen that. And I forgot the explanation they, for it. So was, you don't take them out? They bloop, 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 bloop. You're supposed I, to take them I out at night, video, right? Doc. Man, that's what I'm saying. So you and I you think the per- take them out, right? I think the person didn't, wasn't taking them I can out. I the video. It was putting them... It's possible. I can show you the video. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that actual. I don't know if I seen the video, but I seen that story. And I, I cut it off because it was. I 
don't go, I don't do good with nasty stuff like that. But they was bloop 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 bloop, and I was like, yeah, that's enough for me. I so why didn't the individual feel like you got to feel some twenty three stacked on top of each other? That's how long it nah, took for them. They I mean, felt they, it when they went to the doctor. Oh, that's you mean all over the eye? Yeah, they end up moving. But the thing about that. You got to feel your eyes got to feel. Yeah, you would think that, but people be having all types of ailments when they like they go to the doctor for all types of shit that they didn't even like. like you just got to imagine how many things you you might feel and you'd be like, "Nah, I ain't. I'm good. I ain't gonna go to the doctor. I'll be all right." Twenty three contacts. No, I'm. I'm just saying. I know. What I'm saying. Just imagine. Cause it, I know it's some stuff I probably should have went and got checked out for, and I was like, "Nah, I'll be all right tomorrow." Like if you when the same when we were talking about certain ailments that come with age, mm-hmm. you talking about your foot or whatever, you ain't gonna see no doctor. Nah, because that's different though, man. Cause nah, I mean, cause I done had some shit come up on me over the past couple. My foot was, I had my right foot. I couldn't figure it out. It went away, and I don't know why. Yeah, I don't man. know where it came from. But if it were persistent. You still wouldn't have went to the doctor. It Could happened, you? and then it was it happened again, but it was in a different spot. This is information. Just you, you absorbing it. The information. <laughs> so you gonna ha, ha, doctor gonna be on deck? Yeah. yeah. So shorty man, so she might have felt something. Around. She might have felt a tingle, but she might you know. Yeah, she it, might it, not even thought nothing about it. Yeah, it, it might. For a second, and she was like, "Ugh!" And then it gone away because she adjusted, and that yeah. thing got, yeah, yeah. Ugh, ugh. That's what I'm saying. You get it? I think it it might be possible, yo. I remember when I was little in the country in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I had to be like six, seven, maybe eight. To play outside all day in the country, it was nothing else yeah. to do. Is that, my grandma's you? house, like a dirt dauber. That's what my mom used to call it. <laughs> yeah, your white socks brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just play outside. So I remember <clears throat> one day I had this little, I had a tingle. Where in my shorts? I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I went a whole day. It was like every now and then I would feel like fuck is going on by the end of the day i come in the house you know take a um a bath getting ready to take a bath it's a fucking beetle in my pants oh you've been rocking with him all day all day a beetle a beetle one of them in your pants you know one of them beetles look like they look green they like they kind of shiny green yeah and they turn you. like they in the light they change like a mm. color and shit one of them he lost your mind when you mm. <laughs> sit been rocking in my drawers all day. I'm right. Mm. <laughs> that shit, mm. you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I've been feeling that shit all day, but I'm just. A, but why are you shaking it off though? You <laughs> because you know you think it's like an itch or something yeah. because it'll stop once you start like. Yeah, he done adjust it. Yeah, so it could be the same with the, the cooch critter. I'm just saying. Mm. <laughs> Mm. I don't know, man. I don't really believe it, but I think it, it could be possible. It's possible. It I, like possible. I said, I don't know if it's true. I, I just seen it on Twitter. With the roach, the roach already did, all right. He he eventually died. No, it died once he got that wax stuck on it. He got heated up. Roaches are resilient. So he just in there moving around. Maybe he was chilling. It was like he said, it's warm, it's moist. You gotta feel it. It's a good place to be living at. <laughs> you got to feel that, though. Oh, you find him a good pocket, he just sit there and be still. But you got to feel that. He probably was absorbing nutrients and all type of you shit. You got to feel that. Where he was. got to feel that. I ain't mad at the roach. Nah, either. I, better I mean, place yeah, I mean he got to find what he got to do. But hey, don't you want to live there? But you gotta, yeah, I would live there. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. <laughs> <laughs> it Depends. Right situation? Ooh, yeah, I'm going to be close to that. Depends. But what? What? Yeah, but what? You you ain't know what to say. 
You you will live there too. And be happy. But somebody's supposed to know. Till you get down out. Somebody's supposed to know that he there. Nah, bro. So is it a is it a uh all right, let me ask y'all a question. Is it a thickness? Is it a level of thickness on the hair? What are you talking about? <clears throat> no. Here's the thing. What are you talking about? I think it's some people that live in those type of environments that have no idea where them critters are going to end up. Are you talking about like they might be used to it? No, yeah. They don't, they don't know. They, they know the critters there, but you don't know the critters is there. Rocking, there. yeah, yeah. No, check it's it. There, there. I seen you saying that. I seen, um, I think it was a tick, TikTok video, <laughs> but a dude, he was like, "Why you should never buy used furniture?" And he took a bar stool, and he he picked it up and he slammed it, and about thirty roaches fell out of that bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <sighs> So, he set it up. Maybe, perhaps. I take everything I see online with a grain of salt. That's I, I, I do too. So, but, but I'm not. How do you set that up? I'm not knocking it. Cause I think all that's possible. So yeah. So I don't. I don't know. I mean, if you're used to certain shit that you don't really pay attention to certain shit, you know, that other people might pay attention to. Yeah. Cause how you got housing? Uh, housing? You got, I mean, not even how. Wherever you stand. And you got a stool that got 30 plus roses in it, and you don't know it. And you done sold it off. Yeah, I know. Them yeah. roses ain't come out and say, hey, at no point in time, before you was like, yeah, I'm about to sell it, y'all. They ain't, you, you, yeah. But they was inside, because when he's, <clears throat> I guess they was inside of They it. had to get in there. Yeah, but he had to really like slam the shit for them shits to fall out. So, so they had a whole community up yeah. in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so. yeah. I, I get it. I get it, and it's nasty, and I ain't cool with none of it. But mm, I get it. I believe all of it's possible. That's just my personal opinion. There you have it. You cooch. Hmm. Yeah, coach. I believe that too, and I. I don't believe that. All that shit would. I probably pack, they had to pack damn near die. Yeah. I they damn near die. They had to pack that thing in though. You heard of people having like I told y'all a story. My cousin, she had the um uh, in her ear. Yeah, her I ear. damn near die dog. You know, if that from that place, I damn near die. Let it come out while I'm in it. Cause now <laughs> you don't know. Think about that. Think about you in it and it come out. You don't know if it laid. Yeah, and I ain't crawl up on you. Eggs. What if it laid eggs? No, you know think about it. You, you in it and it crawl up on you. Now, what, what kind of, what are you, how are that you reacting call, to that? that motherfucker crawl up. I'm damn near dead. On you. I'm, I'm damn near dead. If, if, if I'm not dead, you I'm damn there, near dead. That motherfucker up your belly. Your belly button. Yeah, it just was like, <laughs> blue, you know how the motherfucker be going all up and you just like, oh, what the fuck? He's like, well, hold on, dog. You stroking too hard <laughs> in my house. <laughs> going too crazy. Yeah, disrupted the damn environment that I got going. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dying. Damn, what? it's double whammy if you in it raw. Oh. <laughs> All right, man. We about to, If you made it this far. Yes, yeah. sir. Appreciate you. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, it's we're going to the rails a little bit. Another yeah. episode of the Legend Has a Podcast. I'll go by the name of it. Hard work. I'm LV Bowdy. You already know Bo in the building. Yo, check this out. It's very important to be nice. No, I said it wrong. <laughs> it's very important to no, it's nice to be important. <laughs> but it's more important to be nice. What he said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Moppy, Moppy Carpet. Carpet. Mm-hmm. Love over hate, baby. Yo. Love over hate. Hey, baby. we'll be back. Check us same out. Same time, same channel. Next week, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let never, never, never dot com. Love over hate. Love. Greater than the hate, man. We out. Cold.